Hello and welcome back. So in this segment we want to talk about the carbon dioxide cycle and that uh, is where does carbon dioxide come from and then where does it go. Uh, this is also known as the carbon cycle. So we're going to start uh, our uh, cycle with volcanoes. So volcanoes uh, in addition to water and other kinds of materials carbon dioxide is emitted. And that carbon dioxide then goes into the atmosphere and on Earth that carbon dioxide is washed out by rain and it ultimately ends up in the oceans. So then that carbon dioxide mixes with the ocean water to make calcium carbonate which precipitates, it falls to the bottom of the ocean and it makes layer after layer of limestone. So roughly 90% of all of Earth's carbon dioxide is locked up in the form of limestone on the floor of the ocean. Okay, but it doesn't stop there because we know that uh, oceanic plates can be subducted. So when an oceanic plate goes underneath a continental plate or another oceanic plate, it is subducted and then it melts and then the lighter materials come up to the surface and so that carbon dioxide is then released from the limestone and it comes back out the volcanoes. So that cycle uh, takes place on many planets, not just on the Earth. Okay, but Earth is a little bit special in that we also have a, a couple of more ways of producing carbon dioxide. So one is going to be animals. So any kind of living organism that um, uh, takes in, uh, converts uh, sugars into uh, energy, uh, it is going to produce carbon dioxide as a byproduct. And then also we have cars and uh, uh, power plants and things like that also produce carbon dioxide. Uh, Earth also has another way of getting rid of carbon dioxide and that's going to be uh, green plants, so photosynthesis. So any kind of an organism that takes in carbon dioxide and converts it into oxygen. So Earth is special in that we've got some alternate ways of putting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and then different ways of getting rid of it. So this is going to be really important because we're going to find out that the more carbon dioxide that you have in your atmosphere, the warmer that planet is going to be. And so we call carbon dioxide a greenhouse gas. Now it's not the only greenhouse gas. Water is a greenhouse gas. Uh, methane is another greenhouse gas. So there are various uh, gases in our atmosphere that act like a blanket to hold in heat. And so we're going to call that the greenhouse effect. So I also did want to show you uh, what is the source of atmospheric carbon dioxide. So I found this chart here that shows how many, uh, how much, how many tons of carbon dioxide is produced each year. And you can find the United States there. And you can see that the United States is kind of leveled off on the amount of carbon dioxide that we're producing. But then there are other countries such as China which are trying to catch up with the United States economically and so they are uh, building coal-fired power plants uh, at a, a, a staggering rate. So China uh, builds one coal-fired power plant every week and so each of these coal-fired power plants produces a lot of carbon dioxide so that these developing nations are uh, producing more carbon dioxide than what we are uh, and uh, it's not really going to stop until they've caught up with us, uh, economically speaking. Uh, now, if you also, it's important to see how many uh, tons of carbon dioxide is produced by humans 
versus how many tons of carbon dioxide are produced by volcanoes. And so you can see that, at least according to this chart, uh, power plants and cars produce more carbon dioxide than what volcanoes do. Okay, so now we want to talk about the planet Venus in our next segment. So I'll see you then.